Hello, how are you, Ivania? How are you, Doris? You okay? Hello, teacher. Hello, Ivania. How are you? Good. Good. Good, good, good. Finished good. a vacation, huh? Good. Yeah. This time? Oh, one yeah. week. Yeah, that's good. Only one week. Yeah. Too much time is, is too difficult, too. Then you forget, <laughs> you forget all of the things. Yes. <laughs> so what did you do last week, Ivania? Um, last week, only work. You worked? Yes, only work. Um, I have a bachelor party too. Ah, not only work, <laughs> right? Not only work, Ivania. Uh -huh. uh, hi, Ivania. Party. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Where? My best friend is going to marry next Sunday. Mm. Next Sunday? Yes. Yeah, that's great. Did you have a good time at the bachelor party? Yes. A lot it of was um, uh, not like a, a extrovert party. It's like Something <laughs> Pacific. <laughs> ah, do, no. hey, Giovanna, do you do you remember what happened in the party? Yes. <laughs> I never drunk. I never drunk. Ah, okay. No, Perfect. It's, it's not good. It has to be like the movie. Que pasó ayer, right? I, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> and then no, I, Ivania, let me see the pictures let me see the pictures and uh -huh. <laughs> no. that's the idea uh -huh. it was a pacific party 
Well, <laughs> next time, next time. But uh, the wedding is Sunday. Yes. Okay. Well, so you have to get ready. You have to do a lot of things, right? Are you? Yes, I'm a brace, uh, brace my brace my bridesmaid. Oh. Yeah, bridesmaid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And brace my. So I have to do my nails, for example, <laughs> my hair. Ooh, that's good, right? That's always a good thing. Yes. You get to enjoy. I, I don't like because it um it will be Sunday, and I have to to work on Monday. Ah. But it's going to be Sunday at night. Yes. Okay, then yes, it's a problem. <laughs> yes, the problem. Mm -hmm. So only a little, a little parting because if not, on Monday when you go to work, I what happened? I feel sick. <laughs> I have a headache. Yes. I don't know. The room is spinning. I... <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the thing. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm glad to see everybody is back. I see we also have, we got Alex and Doris and Nuri and Luis, Miguel, Roxana. All right. So we're going to take a few moments. We're going to make our rooms in our rooms. It's just a few minutes, five minutes uh, for two things. One, so everybody else can connect. And two, to catch up. What did you do? Uh, what happened? What, uh, what did you do in the last week? And what things were you doing or anything like that? Similar to... Ivania and what happened with her. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, hang on. Let's make a few groups. Okay.
Hey, there we go. We got Omi, we got Marvin. Excellent. We're going to catch up with our partners about what happened in the last week. Hello, hello, Mirna. How are you? Hello, teacher. Sorry, I'm in late. Ooh, I, mm -hmm. Okay, guys, welcome back. I'm glad we are ready. We got a chance and we have more opportunity for more people to join us. This is going to be TOFU part two. And the idea is just to practice a little bit more about the same things. The idea is we're gonna continue. We're gonna have a little bit more readings, listening, speaking, writing. The idea is the same thing, practice the same. So before we begin uh, to remind you is that we need to have an 80, um, in the platform, let me share my screen with you so that we can get everything ready, okay? Remember, this is TOFU module two. We have the same thing as the last one. We have four sections. Uh, this week, we're going to have class Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or sorry, no, Monday, no, uh, today, Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday, Friday. My apologies. Okay. Uh -huh. Because yesterday, no class, so this Friday is going to be the class from yesterday. Yes. Okay. okay, and also, okay. and also the last week, the last week of class, we are going to have class on Friday because we have vacation one day for November second. Oh yes. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. So for those two, we're going to have class uh, two Fridays. This Friday, yes. Next Friday, no. Then, but I will let you know. I when we get close, I will remind you. So don't worry. Okay. 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 The same as before. Here we have many sections. We have four sections. Uh, each section should be completed in a week. Uh, after section two, we also have a midterm. The midterm is necessary. These listening practices are necessary. All of the ones with the checks are obligation to complete. And of course, the idea is to use those and learn a little bit more as well. So before we begin with our module, remember that you can see your grades in the progress. Progress is necessary 80. 80 is the minimum, and then you can go up, okay? From 80, you need to make sure that everything is with 80 mm, for the four sections. Yes. Any questions? 
No. 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 All right. No disclaimer. Excellent. Let's watch the video and then we begin with our class. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. I don't I don't listen to anything. Let's try one more time. El Insafor ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del sistema de formación profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo, contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de Competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos, tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online, cursos online con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insaport ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno, formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insaport trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Con el objetivo de formar en igualdad el Instituto Salvadoreño de Formación Profesional Insafor, presentó en el año 2017 la Guía para la Prevención y Erradicación de la Discriminación contra las Mujeres en los Centros de Formación Fijos, donde se desarrollan programas permanentes de formación profesional del Insafor, cuya elaboración contó con el apoyo de la Organización Internacional del Trabajo, OIT, y su objetivo a largo plazo es contribuir a mejorar las condiciones y oportunidades de acceso y permanencia de las mujeres en los procesos de formación profesional sin discriminación de ningún tipo. La guía pretende poner a disposición de Insafor y de sus centros colaboradores un instrumento que les permita identificar, conocer, prevenir, atender y erradicar progresivamente cualquier discriminación por razones de género contra las mujeres. Posteriormente, el Instafor desarrolló un plan piloto de implementación de la guía en tres centros de formación fijos y es así como surgen cuatro instrumentos fundamentales para la aplicabilidad de la guía, siendo estos manual de convivencia, protocolo de atención en casos de bullying y acoso sexual, lineamientos para la comunicación de los programas de formación con lenguaje inclusivo no sexista y la guía metodológica para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres. Dichos documentos fueron elaborados con el enfoque de derechos humanos y de género, estableciendo medidas que garanticen relaciones de respeto, igualdad y equidad entre todas las personas que forman parte y conviven en los centros de formación profesional. De esta forma, el INSAFOR asume la igualdad de género como un principio transversal de trabajo, entregando a los centros de formación estas cuatro herramientas que complementan la guía para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres, 
a fin de que sean puestas en práctica en beneficio de las usuarias de la formación profesional. INSAFOR, formando en igualdad. All right. We're okay. Super easy, right? Done with the publicity. Now we can continue with our English <laughs> class. <laughs> Excellent. All right. What do you remember about the reading section? Before, in the last module, we learned about the reading section. We learned the different techniques that they have and the different questions that we need for the reading section. What do you remember? The reading, uh, the scanning, and what are Luis Molina, I know. Luis Molina knows about that. Yes or no, Luis Molina? You know, scanning in the other. Ah, Luis forgot. Yeah, sc scanning and skimming. Correct. <laughs> scanning and skimming. There you go. Very good techniques. Those are things that can be very helpful for us. Not always we use them in every situation, but they can help us save time. Remember, mm -hmm. the objective is not the real life. The objective is different. It's an exam. The purpose of the exam is to get as many points as necessary. There are two different ways to get as many points as necessary. One is by answering correctly. And two is by answering many questions correctly. <laughs> If you answer correctly, but you only answer five, it's not going to give you a lot of points. If you answer correctly and you answer a lot of them correctly, quick, that's going to give you more points. So the idea is to learn when you know the questions or the type of questions, so that way you can prepare faster. Uh, some questions, you have to find the information. Some questions, you have to find synonyms, antonyms, or look for the answer that is not there. How do we find those techniques? We're going to remember, we're going to watch the videos to see if we can use the techniques for us. Okay. okay. Welcome to our TOEFL preparation course two. Let's begin with the reading section. In this section, we will walk you through four types of reading questions. We will explain them to you as well as to give you examples. Then you may go on doing some practices and then finally you will take a short test. So, let me show you what are the four types of questions we're going to have. We're going to have vocabulary questions. For example, the, this word is closest in meaning to, that's the vocabulary question. Or in paragraph two or in line 17, the word means, that's a vocabulary. Reference questions. Reference questions is uh, what is similar to our listening, right? What are they talking about? What does this refer to? The pronoun they. They is referring to or it is referring to. Right? That's the reference questions. Okay. Sentence simplification questions. Those sentence simplifications are do you have a complex and you need to give the idea in simple terms. Okay. And then, of course, insert text. It, what word is missing? What word do we need in order to complete? These are some of the four types of questions that we will get. Vocabulary, reference, sentence simplification, and insert text. Here, probably the most difficult, the most difficult is usually the sentence simplification and the reference. These two are usually for most people more difficult. Vocabulary, if you know vocabulary, you know. It's not something that you can learn. It's if you read, if you look, you're going to learn it. But the others, is for the, the type of questions and vocabulary. So let's watch a little bit more on our next section. Here is our four sections, the vocabulary, the reference questions, sentence simplification, and insert text. Hello, welcome to TOEFL Preparation Course 2. Today, we're going inside the reading section. Let's begin with vocabulary questions. Vocabulary questions ask you to identify the meaning of words and phrases as they are used in the reading passage. It's easy to identify vocabulary questions because there will be 
a word or phrase highlighted in the reading passage. And you will see questions like this with phrases like closest in meaning or the author means. The word X in the passage is closest in meaning too. The phrase X in the passage is closest in meaning too. Or in stating X, the author means that. Okay, so before we continue, we wanna make sure that all of those are okay. So we can have something small, for example, a word, a phrase, part of the sentence, or the complete sentence. But all that it is, is that we want to make sure that when they ask you that, it's just, what does it mean? What does this word mean? What does the phrase mean? Or what is the person trying to communicate? That's the idea. It's what is the meaning of that? Now let's look at a sample vocabulary question. Okay. Who would like to read this? Hey. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. The horse has played a little now, but very important role in the field of medicine. Horses were injected with thousands of disease onto their blood build up, build up immunities. Then a serum was made from their blood. Serums to fight what diphtheria and tetanus were developed in this way. The word zero is closest in minute two. And now we have A, B, C, D. Correct. We have mm -hmm. four different ones. Now, the first thing is you need to eliminate the words that you know. Nah, definitely not this. Which words is not correct? Mm -hmm. Don't look at the answer, but which word is not correct? Only from the four options, which one is not good? Ointment. Ointment. Okay. Okay. What else? Acid. Acid. Exactly. So automatically, you already know that ointment and acid is not possible. Acid because mm -hmm. it's like in Spanish. Is it? You don't inject anything with acid, right? No animal. No people. Nothing. So acid, no. Ointment is for vocabulary. Ointment, if you know, ointment is a cream. It is a cream that people put. It's not something mm -hmm. you inject. It's like the ointment for the lotion, for the face, for the, this. Now, maybe it's antioxidant or maybe it's blood. Now, it's, in, it's interesting because here we know that it's not blood, right? Because it says, ah, it was <coughs> from their blood so it's made from their blood it cannot be in it cannot be a blood so that's why according to the passage the last part according to the passage horses were giving toxins to which they became immune the blood was made into serums which acted as antitoxins against the toxins of diseases therefore we should choose b but we choose b because the other ones are not logical and letter c you cannot make it from the blood and inject blood. It has to be something new. That's the type of vocabulary that we have. They are not usually words that you can guess from context. So the best general strategy to be ready for this type of questions is to build your vocabulary. Here's a tip for increasing your vocabulary. Many English words come from Latin or Greek. So if you study Latin and Greek roots, that will help you remember the meaning of words. And it can also help you figure out the meaning of words you may not know. Now, this is more complicated because if you don't know a lot of the words, it is, it's hard to learn a lot of new words. But the best way is try to use your idea, use your imagination like in Spanish. In Spanish, you have an idea for the word. It's not always the Spanish word, but you have an idea. And so the same thing in English. When you see a new word, think. Many of the words just are from Latin, are from Greek, but many of the words, many times you can read and identify, have an idea 
because they are similar to our Spanish words, okay? So you have two options, increase the idea of their vocabulary, but you don't have to increase the words, only increase the root words, the suffix, the roots, things like that, prefixes, and then of course, the others. It's okay, the first technique, how to answer the vocabulary questions? Kind of. Kind of, Alex, okay, yes. Don't worry, we're gonna practice more, but the most important is I want you to understand. The idea of the, of the vocabulary is, is many times in the reading, you're not going to have the context to get the meaning. In comprehension, yes, because in others, they, you can guess the meaning from the context. But here, you need to be able to have a synonym or another word. If you don't know vocabulary, mm -hmm. it's, it's impossible. You don't know, you don't know. But there, yes. are, there are a couple of techniques. The first technique is always, always eliminate the word, even if it's only one. Even if it's okay. only one word that you say, ah, no, it's not possible. This word is not possible. Okay. That gives you a you only with that you increase the percentage 25%. You eliminate one. Ah, now you have a better opportunity. Oh, okay. Then technique number two is look for the word that is repeated in the reading. Is mm -hmm. not normal because if it's repeated, it's not possible to have the same meaning if the same word is repeated. For example, mm -hmm. blood, blood is not is not logical, right? because it's already in there. They want to have a new word. This usually, can, this technique can usually help you eliminate one or two words. And then, to be honest, it's thing my name, brother. There's no, there's no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. Just, but now, yeah. now it's easier with only two options. Now it's easier with only two options. Compare yeah. with three or four options is more difficult. So always, number one, eliminate. Number two, okay. check the reading to words that repeat so that this ones can, you can check to make sure it's not that. And then the last one, simply, if you have no idea, make a decision and go on because it's the same. If you choose B, it's the same you choose C because you don't know. You don't know, you don't know. It's not going to be, ah, I make you, no, you are wrong, you are wrong. You have no idea. But remember, what is the goal to get a good score? Two, Answer questions correctly and answer as many questions as fast as you can correctly. These are the two techniques. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go to the other types of questions. <coughs> the reference questions. Hi. In today's class, we will discuss a reference question. In a reference question, you are asked, what the highlighted word refers to. If it's a pronoun, then you need to identify what word the pronoun is replacing. Here are highlighted words you may be asked about. Number one, subject pronoun, it, they. Number two, object pronoun, it, them. Number three, demonstrative pronoun, these, those, this, that. Number four, possessive adjectives, it's, there. Number five, other reference words. The former, the later, one, once, another, other, others. It is important to remember that you don't need a full understanding of the complete passage in order to solve this question type. You just need to study the context surrounding the word. Now that's very important because remember what we said, your time so you don't have to read all of the paragraph. If they say, what does the word it refers to? What does they, what is the synonym of they? What does they talk about? Ah, super easy. Only read two sentences before to make sure that you have the idea of what it is that they're talking about. I think right now we'll have an example. Usually you just read the sentence where the highlighted word is mentioned and then read a few sentences that come before it. Let's see an example of a reference question. Okay, so there we have a couple. So 
Look at they. The word they in the passage refers to, well, we have men, mm -hmm. women, brains, researcher. Mm -hmm. So men is possible, right? Women is possible. Yeah. Brains is possible. Researcher is possible. Here, we cannot eliminate any only by looking. Why? Because men, women, brains, and researchers are all plural. Mm -hmm. Because they are plural, now we have to make sure that we understand. So I go back to sentence. Here is they. I go here, sentence number one, and then I go over here to however. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can read all the passage, but for this question, is not necessary. And if I read all the passage, I'm going to lose the time. I'm going to lose a lot of time. So only I begin here. So I say, who would like to read this part starting from however? Me, sir. Thank you, Omi. However, women are more likely than men to suffer asphyxia when the wrong part of the brain is damaged. This clearly indicates that the brains of men and women are organized differently in the way they process a speech. Ah. Yeah. So now that we read the two, now it's easier to understand. Now they, are they talking about the men or the women? The brains. Yeah, the brains. They're the talking brains. about the way, brains, exactly, the because brain. the way it's processed. Ah, so then there we go. C, they is with brains because brain processes speech, mm -hmm. right? It does this. So that's one of the techniques that we have. I don't have to read all of it. Why? Because the type of question mm -hmm. is not for reading comprehension. The type of question is not about the paragraph. Mm -hmm. It's only identified. So I save time. Maybe I save one mm -hmm. minute or two because I don't need to understand. I have no idea. I don't know what a atfasia is or what is the damage or the or the stroke. Or, I, I don't know. It doesn't matter because my question is not for this vocabulary. I am not there to learn. I am only there to complete which ones is matching. It's okay, the technique for this one? Yes. Okay. okay. Let's take a look at the next one. Hi, we're still going inside the TOEFL reading section, especially the sentence simplification questions. Simplification questions. Simplification questions ask you to identify a sentence that has essentially the same meaning as a sentence from the reading passage. The correct answer choice contains the main ideas from the sentence in the passage, but may leave out minor or unimportant details. It should restate the most important information in a simpler way. Sentence simplification questions are easy to recognize because the wording of the question is always exactly the same. Which of the sentences below best expresses the essential information in the following sentence? Incorrect choices, change the meaning in important ways, or leave out essential information. The highlighted sentence will have both essential and non-essential information. Your job is to pick the answer choice that best includes the essential information and leaves out the non-essential information. Answering this type of question will require you to understand the relationship between the pieces of information in the sentence. Often there's an important cause effect relationship or there may be a conclusion based on some evidence. So look for those same ideas in the answer choices. Here's an example of a sentence simplification question from a passage. Who would like to read? Nobody wants to read. Everybody is scared today. What happened? The vacation, and now you don't continue. No. Huh? Okay. 
I, I can't teach. I will. All right. I can't write. Thank you. Okay. Which of, of the sentence below best express the essential information and the highlight sentence? Incorrect choice, change the meaning in an important way or leave, leave out essential information. The book of Kafka's reading was not published until after his early death from tuberculosis. Um, letter A, it was not until after Kafka's early death from tuberculosis that the book is his reading was published there be after the book of, of his reading what publishes Kafka died an early death from tuberculosis. Let her see after Kafka had written the book of his published reading, he met with an early death from tuberculosis. And let there be an early death from tuberculosis kept Kafka from publishing the book on his readings. Good, thank you very much, Luis. Only it's writings, remember, writing. Writing. Mm -hmm. writing. Good. So which one do we guys, do you think it is, guys? Do you think it's A, B, C, D? Which one has the essential information in a different way, the same information in a different way? For me, letter A. Letter A? Letter mm -hmm. A? It's the same. The same and the answer. Okay. Can you see the answer or no? No. Huh? No, you no, you can't see the answer. No. I'm never away from no. no. It's blocked, it's blocked by these videos. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Ex mm -hmm. Excellent. Good. I don't want you to cheat. All right. So everybody, tell me the answer. Hey, B, C, or D. What is your answer? What do you think? Luis said A. You agree, you don't agree, you think it's different, tell me. Letter A, it was not until after Kafka's early death. Is your writing was not published until after his early death? Okay. Yes, because this is the only sentence that has the same information. Mm -hmm. Kafka died and the writings were published. This is mm -hmm. it. Uh huh. So Kafka died. And then his writings were published. This is the main idea. That's it. That's how okay. you find it. So the idea is, it's not always easy, but you have to try to look for the information that is important and the other information you can ignore. For example, he died from tuberculosis. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not the most important. Is the order. Mm -hmm. Think about it like cause and effect. You want to have the other sentence in the same order for cause and effect. Okay, the same thing of the things that they were talking about. What did they mean bulk? One tip to build your- Bulk is majority, mm -hmm. the majority. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Reading skills, which will also help you understand sentence simplification questions, is to look at a complex sentence or paragraphs and separate the main ideas from the less important information. Non-essential information can be things like examples or text in parentheses, or very specific information like numbers or dates. <coughs> okay. Huh? Let's read that part one more time. Here's a couple of tips to improve our reading skills. Okay. Ivania, can you please read number one? Marvin, can you please read number two? Okay, look at complex sentences or paragraph and separate the main ideas from less important information. Non-essential information can be things like example or text in parentheses or very specific information like numbers or dates. So these are the things that we need to have, right? always eliminate the inf you need the most difficult is to find out what information is important and what not and sometimes that's hard so always look when they have a lot of details or things that's usually extra information that's usually extra and you can eliminate okay 
So always try to make it in a simpler way. And now, finally, let's look at the fourth one. What do we have for the- or text in parentheses okay. or very specific. The one for inserting text. Let's go on with the last type of questions for this course. The insert text questions. Insert text questions are designed to show that you understand the logical order of ideas in a reading passage. In the reading section, every reading passage has one insert text question. But instead of choosing from a list of four choices, like with most reading questions, you will choose on one of the four black squares to insert the text into the paragraph. Look at the four squares that indicates where the following sentence can be added to the passage. Here's a sample insert text question. A tip to improve your reading is to really know your pronouns and to practice matching them to the words they refer to in a text. Here are a few of the most common pronouns that you will see when you read. This, these, that, those, they, them, him, her, he, she, it, which. Okay, let's go back here. This is the important part. The insert the text is we need to be clear of what we're reading and what it means. Okay. Who would like to read this part? I think so. Okay, Mirna. Sample insert questions. Yes. For each passage, choose the letter of the square where the bold sentence will be fit. For more than 2,000 years, nomads of Central Asia and the Far East have lived in portable circular dwellings called church. Okay. And One moment. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Uh, one of the techniques for this type of question is not to read the paragraph first. First, we're going to read the bold sentence because we need to know what information we have to put in the correct place. And if we read the paragraph, Many times we get lost of where to put in. So first, Mirna, read the bold, and then we try to read the paragraph and say, ah, this is the best location. Okay, try, the, try this way first, Mirna, first the bold, and then the paragraph. I did this. The roof poles are made. Okay. Two walls are made from wooden beams that are tied in the lower end to the right and are secured to a central source Okay. Thank you, Mirna. So maybe when you read that the first time you say, ay, teacher, no entiendo nada lo que estamos hablando ahí. No sé qué es beams, no sé qué es lares, no sé qué es roof ring. It's okay. It's okay. This is the information that we have and we need to find the best place. So if you don't understand a lot of it, it's okay. The important is what do you understand? And what do you what can you identify? Oh, I have I don't know, but I know that there are details. Ah I don't understand the context. I don't understand what is lattice and what is the roof poles and, and the central roofing. But I, I comprehend from the words that they are given a description. Now I need to look in the context, in the paragraph, where is the best place to put descriptions? Okay, let Nuri. us see. Okay, we're gonna try. Nuri, can you please read the paragraph? Uh, which part? Picture. From the letter A, these structures are highly durable. Okay. These structures are highly durable and use resources 
very efficiently. Letter B. Yeah, continue, continue. Okay. We have to identify where to put it. Where do we put it? <laughs> okay. They typically have a low profile and circular shape. See, uh, this allow uh, the wind to slip around and over them so they can withstand, withstand very high winds. The basic shape is formed from wooden poles, um, crystals to form a circular lattice frame in which a wooden door is set. I can't read, teacher. It's okay, Nuri. It's okay. Doing good. Okay. Doing good. Okay. D. The outside covering is made of fabric that is supplement with animal skin during cold weather. Okay. So a lot of words, maybe you don't know, a lot of words that are new. It's okay. Where do you see that they have a description? Which sentences are giving you descriptions? So, you know, I, 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 I taught the letter C, this out. These allow the winds to slip around and over them so they can be withstand very high winds. But the basic shape is formed from wooden poles crisscrossed to form a circular lattice frame in which a wooden door is set. But I don't know. I, I, I told the letter C is correct, but I don't know. Okay. No, no, no. It's good. Letter C is very good idea. It is not correct, but it's very close. Why it's not correct? It's not correct because the next sentence is the technical information, is not a description. The wind slips around and over them to withstand. Uh, is giving us the function, not a description. The function of the this idea. What did they mean? With a fan, teacher. Wind. With a fan. With a stand. Fan. Uh, withstand. They can withstand. Yeah. They can support. Withstand is that they can support very high winds. Mm -hmm. The teacher is that the letter C, I think, um, because um, we have we see um, a sound relationship about the wooden beans um, with. A supplement with the animal skin. Correct. That's where we start to see the description. We see, ah, wooden door, and then we see the skin, and then we see, ah, so in the middle, letter D, in the middle of those two sentences is the correct place to put that idea of roof poles. That's how we're going to identify it. Not always you're going to understand all the vocabulary. But you need to use the techniques of identifying the things. So I think here, oh, is a function. They are describing a function. Ah, if for me, roof poles are made wooden beams that are tied. If for me, this is a function and not a description, then is correct, put in letter C, right? If for me, this is, Ah, the material that they are describing the material and not the usage, then it's correct letter A. So this is the hard part that many times you need to think about it as far as what is it that they are giving you? Are they telling you functions, descriptions? Are they giving you uh, uh, the usage? And then this is going to make it easier for you to try to find the place. Remember what I said, this is usually one of the most difficult parts, where to put in this, because we all write differently. So the idea is a little bit harder. So the other ones, you want to save the time because here, yes, 
you do need to read all of it. This is no skimming and scanning. <laughs> this one, no skim, mm -hmm. no scan. This one, you need to read everything and make sure that you have a, an idea or of what you are going to put in. Okay. Okay. A tip to improve your reading is to really know your pronouns and to practice matching them to the words they refer to in a text. Here are a few of the most common pronouns that you will see when you read. This, these, that, those, they, them, him, her, he, she, it, which. This tip is also to help you because if the sentence says this and the next sentence says they uh, is, or, or it has a plural is not correct. If the sentence says this, and the next one has a singular, oh, is good idea. But if they say, oh, uh, that, and then the next sentence is, which, th this is the idea for the pronouns, to give you an idea which ones match correctly. Okay? Okay. Okay. Good. So here we have a couple of our ideas for the readings. Uh, don't worry, here are some vocabulary questions, some other questions. This, we're not going to start today. We're going to start those tomorrow. But the important is that we have an idea. So right now with our partners, I want you to paraphrase, explain in your own words the four. Vocabulary, reference, sentence simplification, and insert text. What technique? are you going to use for each one? What strategy is different from vocabulary and reference? Is different from sentence simplification and insert. So in this moment, super easy. Only you tell your partner, partner, esto lo que entendí de hoy. And that's, that's it. That's it. If you say, partner, for me, I felt like Chinese. Ni hao ma, ni hao, ni huan chong. That, 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 this, this is okay. Maybe, no maybe tomorrow or next week. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Okay, and good. In this moment, we'll make a few groups. Okay, one moment. And then we try with our partners to explain what we understood for the four things. Okay.
Okay. Thank you so much for connecting our first day back. Tomorrow we're going to continue and we're going to implement the usage of those four different types of skills and types of questions. And we're going to try okay. to practice them as much as possible. Okay. Okay. Good teacher. All right. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you guys. Thank you. Good night, Good night everybody. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.